Good evening. Welcome to the Hitman Shave Show. Um, I'm your host, Jim Hit. This is our third episode. Um, so, welcome. In today's shave, we're going to be using another Purasso soap, like we did in the um, last video. Except this is the... It's brought to you by C.O. Bigelow. And, um, but it is a Parasso, um, it's made exclusively by Parasso for C.O. Bigelow. And I'm pretty sure it's more or less the, the green, um, Parasso shave soap that I used in the last video. Um, and this, I call it a supermarket shave, but... Um, you can get this soap. You don't have to buy the line. You can, but you can get this from Bath and Body Works. Um, for the razor I'm using today, I'm going to use a another little generic, I guess. Um, somebody tell me if they've ever seen these. This around it is a three-piece razor. It's a Cheap, cheap razor I got off of Wish.com. I kind of thought it looked cool. Plastic handle. Um, but of course the head is metal. Um, I did buy some. I thought they were metal and the entire thing is plastic. Tried to use it. Oof, no. Um, I did shave with this the other day. I did one pass and probably went about an inch and a half. Took the blade out and threw it away. I don't know what kind of blade it was. It was all in um, Chinese. But so that's the razor. And today I'm using the bore brush that I used before. Excuse me while I want some water. I'm gonna get some water in the sink. Um, got this. This is another bore brush, I believe. It smells good. It smells like crap though. I've got it soaking right now. Um, Excuse me. Midnight and I'm drinking coffee. Um, and for aftershave, I'm going to use water salt. Okay, so I'm going to get ready here. Of course, today I'm going to use my um, Vanderhagen. Um, shave butter, but I always I use it as a pre-shave. Um, don't need a lot. <sighs> Smells just wonderful. Almost has like an almond smell to it. Mm. Love that smell. Mm, excuse me. We are, as you can tell, we are not at home. My wife and I are at her parents' house, my in-laws, and there's some family from out of town there we wanted to see. So, of course, I will use the electric free shade, which... As I've said before, I'm a creature of habit, so. Mm. But I carry everything with, in a carrying case that I have that's very dear to me. I got it at a yard sale of all places for about 75 cents. I'll show you. I collect old luggage. This is an old Samsonite, probably from the 70s. Um, There's a garment box, garment bag, garment box, whatever you want to call it. So, okay, well, I'm going to take this out. And you know, I have found using these. At least this brand in a um, bowl, you do not need very much water at all. Um, 
I can't stress that enough. I don't use very much water. And I had to put just a real small dab in there. And then you just make sure that all the water is out. So mix it up. I haven't got a new bowl yet. I do have ordered one. I have a few other things that I have on order. I'm excited to have a shade do a shave in. But This bowl just does not do a very good lather, so I'm just going to do a face lather here. I may have been able to put a little more soap in there, but I think it's just fine the way it is. Let's get started, why don't we here? Oh, nice. Very nice. You know, I'm kind of impressed with this cheap little... Um, razor. It's a pretty good razor and... I have a Vanderhagen in there though. And I definitely like the Vanderhagen blades. I'm going a little fast because my phone does not have a lot of juice left. So, oh yeah, nice lather with that. I don't think you get a. This is my opinion, but I definitely like the lather from the actual bowl of Paraso that I more than I like out of the tube. The tube is awesome to have though. Listen to that feedback. With some of the razors I have coming I cannot I will not be able to be as aggressive in the speed of the shave like I am now. Listen to that feedback, I'm telling you. It's really hard to shave this part of my neck. So, four months ago, uh, about four months ago, five months ago, I had gastric bypass and I've lost over 200 pounds. And so I'm a little, I've got, I've got some extra seam going on. We're gonna do one more pass here. Ooh, starting to run out a little bit of soap here. Let me... See if I can work a lather up here with what it's left out of this. Yeah, I should be fine. Yeah. So we a good lather going on here. Yeah, it looks good. Hmm.
Now I'm going to go against the grain. Still hear that feedback. Everybody's in bed right now, so too many kids running around for me to do a decent shave video. And all these kids running around. I love the kids. They're my three nieces by marriage. Good kids. They're just kids. They're loud just like any other kid and they love attention. And so, doing a video while they're awake is just out of the question. They want to know what you're doing and whatnot. And so, oh, okay. Mm. Ken, did I get it off my ears? You tell me. <laughs> I. Ken, if you're watching this, I laugh every time you talk about that. That's so funny. And that coolness of that cross of shave soap is just just great. Now, of course, I'm going to use the Perasso Balm after shave balm, and I'm. I got it for my birthday, actually, from my mother um, in October, and it has definitely lasted me. Oh, it smells so good. My mother-in-law smelled this and said, ooh, it smells just like a bar of soap. I said, it reminds me of an old barber shop like I used to go to with my dad, old Stewart's Barber Shop in Ocala. Um, the only thing I had any nick, so I'm not going to use the Olin Bar. I'm going to use the Barbasol now. <clears throat> oh, I'm about to go to bed, and this oh, this is waking me up. Well, I want to thank you again for watching. Um, if you really like the video, you like what you saw, please do me a favor and like and subscribe and leave a nice comment. If you don't like what you saw, leave a comment you want. I'm willing to take it. I'm a grown man. Just don't be rude. And so, and uh, so, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Um, God bless you, and we'll see you again. Happy shaving.